Hello. Yesterday I had another minor disaster. I was trying to stick a fridge magnet back together with some super glue and the tube exploded and covered my hand and stuck all my fingers together. Well, it took me a while to extract my fingers one by one and I seem to be wearing a pair of gloves made of super glue for most of the rest of, yes of yesterday. It's mostly worn away now. But it did give me pause to reflect on the things that I am stuck to and stuck with. Good things and not good things. The Apostle Paul, when he was writing to the church in Rome, said, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Perhaps it's a familiar passage to you. And there's a reason that he said it immediately beforehand. He wrote this, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. So it's part of our worship to be as holy and as perfect as we can be. And in order to do that, we need to take time and reflect. What are the things that I'm stuck to? And perhaps I need release from. And this was part of my spiritual practice yesterday, and perhaps it could be part of your spiritual practice as well. What are the things that you are stuck to? and need to be released from? What are the things in your past that still cling to you? Perhaps you need to forgive. Perhaps you need to move on. Perhaps you need to accept that you will never receive forgiveness from someone else, but that God forgives and accepts you so long as you repent and turn away from behaviour or actions in the past. What are the things that you are stuck to and need to be released from? And what are the things that you are stuck with and need to accept or come to terms with or again forgive? things from your past, things that you carry into your future. And what are the things that you need to stick to? Where is your faith in God coming a little unstuck? Where are you faltering and struggling to cling on a little bit? Acknowledge it. Look at it. See if you can fix it. Most of all, pray about it. These are all causes for prayer. And what do I need to stick with? What spiritual discipline have I perhaps put in place during the lockdown? And as the lockdown goes on, I'm finding a little harder to keep going. There are just four things there. Perhaps you can remember them. Take them to your quiet time. Take them to your time with God. Reflect on them and ask God for insight. And be prepared to do the work because this, as Paul says, is your spiritual worship. What am I stuck to and need release from? What am I stuck with and need to come to terms with? What do I need to stick to and I'm struggling to stay attached? And what do I need to stick with? Be blessed and stay safe.